just giving you the default disclaimer right here. I'm not brand bashing, you know, we have different skin types, we have different preferences. It just so happens that the products that I showed you did not work out for me. Hello, so today I'm going to talk about the products that I regret buying part two i have part one linked in the description box down below so check that out i have here five products that i'm really 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 disappointed i tried over and over again to make them work but they did not want to cooperate they hate me so here we go First off is this product right here and this one is the Myra Vita Smooth Hydrating Facial Moisturizer. It has vitamin E in it. It looks like this and I'll show you what the product looks like. As you can see, it is somehow liquidy. It is slipping down there. Ah! I'm not sure if it is water-based but it slips and slides and this is what it does on your face. It slips and slides. It's very hard to work with it because it's very liquidy. Your face would look like an oil slick mess and the smell is not that bothering but it has this lotion smell and it also has that lotion feel that it's as if you're putting on body lotion on your face that feeling just bothers me a lot and you might think that since this one is really oily it is really slick that you would have a moisturization power going on on your face that's not going to happen once this dries it just dries into nothing did it evaporate did it disappear i don't know but i just see my dry patches on my face it did not really do its job because it is a moisturizer and it did not moisturize my face so hmm and as you can see it is still not setting it takes a lot of time for it to set and again when it sets it's as if it's just nothing it says here it hydrates and smoothens no and it has a light and non greasy feel Next one is another moisturizer and I have been moisturizer crazy this past few months because I've been clearing up my acne so you know there is drying up in here even though I have oily skin so I really have to moisturize and I tried this one I hauled this one I have a video on this I put a link down below if you would want to watch that haul this one is the NYX tinted hydrating moisturizer and the shade that i have here is in what is my shade my shade is in soft beige i would give you a swatchy swatchy as you can see it is also liquidy but it is not as liquidy as the myra e1 it looks like that as you can see they said it is also a tinted moisturizer so it is it has a bit of tint to it number one complaint is that the shade range is not that varied you have light you have medium and you have dark and also there are some in between shades that i don't understand because it's as if they're not in between shades so the shade that i got is the clue closest that I can find that would match my skin tone but as you can see you know it's not actually a clear match so the shade that I got is workable did not mean to flip you off guys I'm sorry I have no problem with its moisturizing properties I realized that when I use this my face is really moisturized it does not feel dry and it also combats my dry patches but the thing is the formula is the crease god of crease gods out there when i use this product alone or when i use it together with other products it just creases on me a funny situation that i had when i used this was when i made beso beso with my friend and the moisturizer transferred to her face as and she was very fair so i could see the moisturizer on her cheek and i was like oh my god i'm sorry i'm sorry that was so embarrassing so after that i did not use this and i tried to set this with a lot of powders setting powders powder foundations powders etc and it just doesn't work another fact that irritates me regarding this product is its packaging i was really excited when i got this because it comes in a squeezy tube so it would be hygienic and you know you control the product that you get out of it 
but that's not true because the stopper right here is loose it cannot control the product that you squeeze out of it so you have to be careful when you store this product because you have to keep it like this and keeping it like this defeats the purpose of this squeezy tube because you have this packaging so that you can store it like this but you cannot store it like this you have to do it like this next up is a liquid concealer and this one is from bys is that how you pronounce it bys bys bis Again, I'm not sure when it comes to pronouncing the brand names, but it is this product right here and it is their liquid concealer and the shade that I have here is in medium. And at first glance, I was really happy with this product because look at that. It is a thick creamy concealer it is as thick as you can get and i need full coverage when it comes to covering my acne scars hyperpigmentation acne marks all the problems in my face so i really need a foolproof concealer when it comes to covering my problematic areas it has no problem because again it has a very thick formula so it covers it perfectly but the service of this product just stops there this product dries but it does not set even though i use other powders setting powders to set this product out it would just look patchy when you first put it on it really looks nice like it completely covers what you want to cover but then when it dries it you know somehow the formula somehow separates on the spot that you want it to conceal and it just looks very gross and i'm really sad that this product did not work out for me because this product is affordable it is a hundred pesos and you have a decent amount of product in there but it's as if i'm just getting 25 pesos out of the 100 pesos that i paid the next product would shock a lot of you who have been watching my videos for a very long time because I raved and raved and raved 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 about this product countless times and this one is the essence long-lasting waterproof eyeliner now wait wait before you say that you know I changed my mind regarding this product I really think I just burped I'm sorry <laughs> I really think that the essence eyeliner that I talked about in previous videos is the bomb but when I repurchased the same eyeliner I realized that they differ in formula I don't know if essence changed its formula I don't know if I just got a bad bunch what I know is that this is not the eyeliner that I've been talking and raving about. You know, the packaging is just the same. It also has that fine tip right there. But the product is just so patchy. Can you see that? You're not getting full-on color right there. So you can see the formula is breaking apart. And I realized that this creases. Like when I close my eyes for a very long time, I would see like lines here, like dark lines here. And the Essence eyeliner that I talked to you about does not do that, but this one does. So I'm not really sure. But in the meantime, I'm hating this product. And the last one is a skincare product and it is this. And this one is from Kiehl's and it is the Kiehl's, this, that's Kiehl's, 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 Kiehl's. Okay, Kiehl's. It is the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective White Purifying Foam Cleanser. Ang haba ng pangalan niya, parang tong twister. And I got sample sizes because my mom gave this gift to me. And this one is the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. But ang haba. And I've been reviewing this for quite a long time right now. And I still don't have my final thoughts on this. I would update you guys if this one is effective. But going back to this fail, at first I really like the cleanser because it just really cleans and purifies your face. But when I kept on using it for three weeks, I realized that it dries my skin and it is stripping my skin which is very unusual because i have the oiliest of oiliest of oiliest of skins i only have dry patches because again i am clearing up my acne so that's expected but when i tried this it just completely as in 
super duper dry but yes I don't recommend this product and also knowing that this product is a high-end product that's a lesson to you guys even though a product is high-end it does not mean that it would work out for you so those are the products that I regret buying I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful don't forget to subscribe and all that shit so you don't miss any of this also go download my app the link is down below this is Tish and I'll just see you on my next video. Bye! When I'm not here, you can find me at these places. So like my page, follow me, stalk me. No, don't stalk me. But let's just be friends.